Today, I will be presenting my summer research experience at the University of Florida College of Pharmacy. My name is Jason J. Um, I attend Hamilton College with a major in biochemistry, and I am a rising senior um, graduating in May of 2024. And these are some photos from my study abroad experience where I was able to travel. And I am interested in pursuing a PhD degree because um, my current career path of interest is being a professor, especially focused in medicinal chemistry because I enjoy being able to teach and conduct research. And this summer I worked in the Zhang lab and this is me. This is my PI, Dr. Zhang, and my mentor, Alexis. And my research project is synthesizing alternative CRPM intermediates. So to go into a bit of basics on Protax, um, it is a compound that combines a protein of interest to an E3 ligase to form a ternary complex. And this complex is then broken down by a proteasome and it degrades the protein of interest and then this protac can be reused again to further break down more proteins. So for my project, I am working on synthesizing um, CRBN binders, which CRBN is a common E3 ligase and traditionally thalidomide and its analogs were, are used as CRBN binders, but a study has been done that um, developed phenyl dihydrosyl based protax that bind to CRBN, and so we are synthesizing uh, a derivative of the phenyl dihydrosyl based CRBN binder that is um, more chemically stable. At first, I tried to synthesize um, the meta substituted CRBN binder using this direction. However, the first reaction was unsuccessful. So we talked to another um, lab member, and this is the um, synthesis that he was able to successfully conduct. So we changed the synthesis to this one. So this is going to be a day in the life. So at first, I start off the day by um, prepping my reaction and finding out the amount that I have and which can be converted to the millimole. And finally, um, that can be used to calculate how much of each of our material that I must use. And then this is me diluting my starting material in methanol. And then I add in the thionyl chloride to the starting material while it is on an ice bath. Then I must update my lab notebook and then, then I prepare to um, set up the lab notebook for another reaction, which it, this time is adding the Bach group to um, a reaction from previous that was that got um, the Bach group removed. And then this is me setting up the Bach reaction. For lunch, since it is Wednesday, I attend the surf luncheon. Then after 10 minutes, I create a TLC to check the um, thionyl chloride reaction. Um, and I did a 10% methanol and KCM solution um, and prepare the TLC and let it run in the TLC chamber to see if the reaction has finished.
unfortunately the Dynacore solution was not finished so I had to let it continue to run. But the Bach reaction showed some product um, so I ran ALCMS which you can see here me putting in the sample um, into the machine and then I go on the computer and set up my sample and um, let it determine the molecular weight. which you can see here, the strongest peak is at 364, which is my product. Then I did the workup for the reaction, which involved me mixing in DCM and water, and I would extract it a couple times with DCM, um, then dry it with sodium sulfate, um, filter it, and concentrate it to get the crude product. Then before I left, I set up a new reaction that I wanted to try out that will run overnight. And I wanted to thank Dr. Zhang and all the members of the lab as well as Alexis for helping me throughout the program, um, Mike and Ashley as well as the University of Florida.